Welcome to a Lean Stacks instructional video. This video is part of the Spring Data Fundamentals series. In this video, we build upon the Greeting Web Services project that has been constructed in the Spring Boot Fundamentals series. We demonstrate how to use the Joda framework classes as attributes of Spring Data Entity Model classes. I prefer to use the Joda framework for temporal objects and calculations. However, to use Joda classes within JPA entities, we need to include a dependency named Jadira within our project. Jadira is a small library of Hibernate user types which allows Hibernate to map persistent data to and from classes in the Joda framework. Note that the Spring Data JPA uses Hibernate as the default JPA framework. Open the Maven POM file. We're also going to add a Jackson data type library for Joda objects so that Spring knows how to convert Joda objects into JSON date values. Add the following dependencies to the Maven POM file. Notice that the version attribute does not need to be included for the Joda or Jackson dependencies. Since the project extends the Spring Boot parent POM, the latest supported version of these dependencies will be selected. Next, we need to tell Hibernate to scan the class path for custom user types. Go to the source main resources config directory and open the application.properties file. Add a new property informing Jadira to auto register the user, the user data types with Hibernate. With the Jadira user types included on the class path, we may now utilize Joda framework classes within our entity model classes. Navigate to the org example WS model package and open the transactional entity class. Change all of the date attributes to use the date time class work from the Joda library. Now repeat this process with the Reference Entity class. The Greeting, Account, and Role classes do not have any temporal attributes, so we will not need to edit those. Since our Entity Model classes now contain instances of the date time object, we need to configure the Jackson JSON Object Mapper to convert these values to and from JavaScript dates. Go to the Source Test Java directory and open the Abstract Controller Test class from within the org example WS package. The Jackson dependency that we included in the POM file contains a new Jackson module named Joda module. We need to register that module with the Jackson object mapper that we instantiate for unit tests. Please note that the main application uses a different object mapper instance. When Spring instantiates and configures the Jackson JSON components for the main application, it automatically detects the Joda module on the class path and registers it with the object mapper. 
use the object mapper's register module method to include the Jota module in the unit test object mapper instance. Let's run the application to see these changes in action. First, let's run the application unit test to ensure that the new Jackson module is working as expected. Use MVN clean package to compile the application and execute all unit tests. All of the unit tests have passed, which indicates that the date time attributes in the entity model were successfully serialized into JSON and deserialized back into date time objects. Next, let's run the application and invoke a few web services. Type MVN Spring Boot Run and press Enter to start the embedded Apache Tomcat web server. I'm going to use the Postman RESTful web service client to test the changes to the application. First, let's fetch all the greetings. Notice that the values for the created at attribute are represented correctly as JSON dates. Next, let's create a new greeting. Once again, the date attributes in the response are correctly formatted. Finally, let's update that new greeting. Note that both the created at and updated at attributes contain proper JSON date values. Once again, I'll list all of the greetings. The Jota framework vastly simplifies temporal calculations, but it can be a bit cumbersome to convert the Java util date objects in an entity model to Jota classes and vice versa. Using the Jadira and Jackson dependencies for mapping these classes enables you to seamlessly include Jota framework classes directly into the entity model. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the Lean Stacks YouTube channel and follow the Lean Stacks Google Plus page to receive updates as new videos are published. As always, you can find more information on leanstacks.com. To view the complete repository illustrated in this video, see the GitHub repository URL in this video's description.